We were very surprised by the fact that in these very large shipments of cut flowers and ornamental plants that are imported into Britain, uh, there are a variety of amphibians, reptiles, insects and other invertebrates that uh, are also imported at the same time, uh, very often undetected. Many invasive species that can impact on the environment and food production are getting into Northern Europe and we're very keen to understand the nature of that so we can understand the likely consequences for agricultural production and for the natural environment. This is a really large and important economic activity. It's a very fast growing business worth already billions of dollars per year. It's expanding in tropical areas um, and we absolutely are not saying uh, that you know, we, we want to encourage any kind of knee-jerk reactions that might make the situation worse, particularly because this is an economically and socially important activity for the producing countries. On the other hand, particularly because of the very large volumes which make it difficult to check um, these shipments um, in, in their integrity. It means that there's an increased risk of importing species, um, including species such as mosquitoes, that now with, with climate change, although decades ago would have uh, perhaps uh, been killed off during winter, now there's um, an increasing chance that they might actually survive and, and cause additional problems. So there's no international database that shows the, the number of species that come in with ornamental plants. And so the team studied this. They quantified the number of species found coming into the Netherlands in one year and recorded by DEFRA coming into Britain over two years. And that snapshot provides a real insight as to what's coming in. Although undoubtedly important, Invasive species are in effect only one part of a bigger potential issue in relation to also water scarcity in the producing countries, pollution uh, that uh, is involved actually in the production and uh, the transport of these, uh, of these cut flowers and ornamental plants, but also uh, the quite serious issues in relation to the carbon costs. Shipping plants across the world obviously has an inbuilt carbon cost which is quite substantial. So we really need to work together um, with the industries to make sure that we're aiming and that we're achieving better sustainability outcomes for this important and growing trade that people ultimately derive a lot of pleasure from.